Hey everybody, this is Erica off the Classy Climb blog. I was just reading this article and it was talking about how, how terrible pother, poverty is in the Deep South and how terrible the Deep South is. And I had to just say, stop it. Just absolutely stop it. You know, there people aren't retiring in the North. People aren't going, you know, I'm going to retire and move to New York City. No one's doing that. And a lot of people, the more articles you read about people becoming millionaires in the South, a lot of them moved down from New York, moved down from Virginia, Pennsylvania, you know, Ohio, all these places. And was like, damn, it's so cheap down here. I'm, I'm done. I'm done with the North. I'm going to buy this whole house, this four bedroom, three bath house for $100,000, $150,000 in North, South Carolina, you know, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, you know, Alabama, wherever they're moving South. Now I'll meet people who've lived in the South their whole lives. And I go, why don't you have a house? Oh, girl, I can't afford no house. This house around the corner that's $35,000, you can't afford it? Well, I don't want to live over there, girl. I want a brand new house. Do you make brand new house money? <laughs> People, I'm not trying to knock your dreams, but like if you take an assessment that if you've been living in the South, if you go Charlotte, Raleigh, North Carolina, South Carolina, Columbia, Columbia has rental apartments for $400 a month. It also has houses for 40 grand, 50 grand. And if people can look you in your eye and say, man, Erica, I didn't have $700 for my FHA loan and then another $700 to do a down payment. You're lying, man. You live in the South, dude. If I can turn around and see, like this is my thing. Two things I'll see. I'll either see a guy with a giant F-150, F-250, and you go, oh, you work on a farm? Nah, man. What the you got a truck eating up all your gas money and your 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 bills okay or they'll see a car they got a dodge charger or a, some kind of souped up muscle car and it's eating up all their money and gas man i just can't between my car payment and my this i'm like you doing it backwards man get the cheap house you know pay off the cheap house in a year or two if you have a thirty thousand dollar house i just want you to think about it if you had a thirty thousand dollar house and that's it's all the time you'll meet people get thirty thousand dollar cars They'll pay that car off in four to six years. Four to six years. So imagine getting a $30,000 house. Why couldn't you pay that off in four to six years? The house is more valuable. The house you can have is a rental property at least. So anyway, things to think on, things to chew on. Um, it's all about mentality. Uh, a lot of times people quit jobs. Oh, they were rude to me. I don't want to work there no more. I don't want to work for eight hours an hour. I'm like, well, you can't quit one job till you get another. And then I'll ask them, what do you, what kind of trade do you want to get? They never talk about getting a trade. They never talk about going to community college and getting some kind of medical trade, being a radiologist, being a, some kind of physician's assistant, kind of physical therapy, something that will get them to this magical hundred thousand dollars. Well, I just want to get a job paying me 13, $15 an hour, Erica in food service will be a manager. Oh man, I want to be a manager. Well, look, in order to get the big bucks, you have to trade up in responsibility. You can't just show up and get a big fat check and, and leave every day. That, that's just not how it works. And it just seems like to me, that's what we're running into in our society is people saying, oh, it's such terrible poverty. And then I'll go, well, what, oh, well I'll meet somebody who um, is just struggling, struggling, and then they'll end up pregnant. And I go, you're already struggling barely feeding yourself but you got pregnant birth control is free downtown boo boo it's free it's free you can get ied or whatever those things are uid or whatever it is for five years you won't get pregnant okay so when i meet people and they go but i know i can be a good mom and all this other stuff and, and so the article i read it was by pro publica or whatever their whole argument was like she's in poverty because she lost a car she lost an apartment she had a baby and, you know, now she has to catch the bus and it's just too hard. Well, first off, who? how did she lose the car? Did she not pick up multiple jobs to keep the car? Okay, whatever. Two, she had a $400 apartment. Now they're going to say, well, the apartment had mold in it. Okay, we don't know that about that apartment. That's what she's telling us. Okay, so, you, you know, I would sue. Okay, three, she went out and had a kid after she lost a car and an apartment. Come on, people. put the, Some of this stuff is choice. It's not about it being the South. Even if she lived in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, she would not, Baltimore, think about it. She would not afford to, where was she going to be working? Because they have such great transit up North. It's not about having trains and buses taking you faster somewhere. Sorry, it's just not. I know people who go Uber to work. They spend $5 a day Ubering it to work. They just have to do that. They have to get there faster. It's all about choices. You know, and there was a call center in the article that went to hire her. But it was like, 
It was like a nighttime call center. I can't do that. I can't get subsidized daycare for nighttime. You haven't made a network of friends for you to be able to work together with a group of other single moms and y'all take turns watching each other kids. Like that's the structure people like you have to figure out how to network with other parents so that y'all work together as a team watch each other's kids get each other breaks get each other date nights you have to figure out then okay how can I work a second job or how can I get that community college where the community if you're going to community college and you're getting that financial aid you're also going to get subsidized daycare and get that trade now you're going to get a lump sum. Maybe you'll get four thousand, five thousand dollars, and a refund check. That just means you have to pay your rent up for the rest of the year, if you can, and then you pay for the food or other things you use. You know, food stamps for that. You have to think bigger, people. And if you're sitting there going, "Well, I just want to take a little food line, food job, and keep it moving," that's all you're going to get is food job money. And I'm sick of these articles blaming the South for that. That's not the South's fault. That's your personal responsibility. If you have trouble reading, turn around and blame your mom. Okay. If you have trouble writing, these are things your parents should have been double checking you at night for. Your grandma, whoever, should have been double checking, make sure you're reading and writing at the level you're supposed to. But a lot of times what's happening is people stick a TV in front of kids' face and stick a cell phone on their case and go, oh, do that. And now you're meeting people who are 19, 20, 21 years old, 22 years old, don't know how to use computers other than to look up YouTube videos. They don't know how to do any kind of functional work. They don't have any kind of functional skills because nobody invested in them. And they don't think they have to invest in themselves via just a trade. I'm not saying they have to go get a bachelor's degree. That's 21 million people are in college. If college was making millionaires, we'd have a bunch more millionaires. We don't. So, you know, focus on the trade, man. This is Erica. It's one, one a little long. You guys have a great day.